I realize Chime has not disclosed what the cost of this partnership is, and actually I believe the NBA won't allow you to say, um, but presumably it's a significant investment. How will you measure the success? Well, you know, we've had a tremendous amount of success over the last year um, expanding our marketing channels. And we've historically um, done a lot online. And in the last year, we started doing more and more television. And we've found that some of the channels that, and networks that really work for us is sports programming. And so it was a natural fit for us to think about getting into uh, the NBA and the Mavericks in, in particular. But this is, you know, not just about direct response advertising. It's uh, part of our plan for 2020 is to raise the awareness of the brand, and we think this was a great opportunity for us to do it. It's not just on clicks and account openings, but also just brand awareness, which is a little bit of a new, a new uh, area for us. Got it. How many customers do you have now, and how quickly is that growing? I think we last announced uh, about 6.5 million accounts that we've opened, and we're growing at a, uh, a really rapid clip. Last year, we grew the business uh, almost 4x. What can I do on your bank? Everything I want to do, make get loans, Put, have savings accounts, have cards, debit cards, credit cards, checking accounts, what? Well, Chime's not actually a bank. We partner with FDIC insure uh, institutions that, to actually hold the money. We're largely a consumer, think of us as a consumer technology company, a fintech company that offers uh, uh, a, a range of banking services. We offer checking accounts in partnership, savings accounts, a Visa debit card, and we offer a bunch of service that that people really enjoy, like uh, we don't charge monthly fees on the account. We give you your paycheck a couple days early if you sign up for payroll direct deposit. And the, the big hit recently is that we have a service called SpotMe that lets you take the account negative without charging you a $35 So, so let me, let me understand this. The, the, you're basically a front end for, for banking partners. In other words, if I were to have my, de my check deposited, would it go to Chime Bank or would it go to some bank uh, that is affiliated with Chime and you're my entry point? It would go to one of our FDIC-insured banks. We've got two bank partners, mm -hmm. Bancor Bank and Stride Bank are the two partners that we work with today. Got it. Are you profitable? No, but we could be. Uh, we are uh, actively investing in growth and, and doing more and more uh, on the marketing side. We could dial that back and become profitable. We, we have very attractive unit economics, which I think is why we've been able to attract a lot of attention right. from, from investors. But, you know, we're certainly investing in new marketing uh, channels and and the big one we want to talk about today is the Mavs. We couldn't, yeah. you know, I'm so fired up to be down here and announce this big partnership and celebrate. I think we're going to, you know, take the uh, American Airlines Arena tonight, and, and I think Mark and and Sint and the team are going to turn it green for us. So we're Sound, really excited. Sounds like you're going to have a fun night. Okay, so you have this partnership with the Mavs and other ways that you're ramping up marketing. You're not profitable, but you could be. Valuation of 5.8 billion dollars, millions of customers. Plans to go public? We don't have plans to go public anytime soon. We're very well capitalized. So, you know, of course, there's a lot of, there are a wide range of benefits from going public, uh, um, including marketing and, and, and promotion and, and awareness. But uh, for the short term, we're, we're focused on efforts like partnering with the Mavs, which we just felt such a great yeah. connection so, with. You know, we're, we're, one of our core values here at Chime is to be member obsessed. And we really felt that same uh, value throughout the entire enterprise of, of the Mavericks and how they think well, about their fans. That's what I want to ask you. What's it like to work with Mark Cuban and why did he pick you? Oh man, Mark's a force of nature. I've been able to spend a lot of time with him over the last few weeks um, and was over at the practice facility with him yesterday. Uh, he's just an incredible supporter. You know, obviously, you know, wouldn't do a partnership with, with someone that he wasn't really excited about. And uh, he loves our products and services and is eager to tell all of his fans about it, and uh, so it's going to be an awesome partnership. All right. All right. Chris Britt, thanks for joining us. Wait, wait, wait. i got to show you that. Come on. Let, oh. Let's check this out. Oh, and yeah, by let's the way, see. Let's look. Luka Doncic this is what will be looks like tonight. Is. Luka Doncic, man, my favorite you know, new player. <laughs> when Luka hits a three, he always goes like this, which is right where the Chime logo is, and I expect him to hit a few tonight. And also, just my last comment, I want to make sure, Luka is just behind LeBron James for all-star votes in the Western Conference. He's number two. Yep. He's just a couple hundred thousand behind. So if we could get all CNBC viewers today to get their votes in for Luka, we could get him up the list. We'd be really excited about that, too.